What is up guys and welcome back. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the locations to a couple of pieces of gear, useful pieces of gear, that I found in the Caspian level so far. Definitely not all of them, but just a couple like the first video I posted. The first item is going to be the compass upgrade. Now this is going to be the motion scanner. This can be quite useful, especially for the chameleons. Those are the guys that camouflage themselves against the walls. And um, it's not very cool to have one all the time because if someone is in your vicinity, they will it will beep the whole time if there's any movement, even if it's a friendly. So that can get very, very irritating very quickly. Um, but this is a collectible, uh, which is obviously not part of this. But if you turn around and go up a ladder, you will find the upgrade right there. It's directly, this ladder is directly opposite that collectible I just picked up. You head up here into the captain's quarters or something like that. Not necessarily the bridge either, but there it is right there. Compass upgrade, ahoy. Okay, next one is going to be the NVG upgrade. This is going to be an NVD. I'm not sure what the D stands for, but if you go to your workbench, it'll show you. It just means that it detects heat now as well. And we're going to be in the southeast corner. This whole area is kind of optional. But just to the north of this is the final area. But very creepy, bring lots of ammo because there's tons of these chameleon guys. Okay, now this is a part of a collectible of the weapons guy that I'm doing as well. So I do apologize for this, but there is a Gatling gun right there if you want it. And then we're going to head to the top floor. Not after dismantling one more weapon though. Absolutely amazing level. After the, the Caspian, this level, you get to the Tega. I think it's called that. And I'm not going to ruin it for you, but oh my god, I was absolutely astounded. It was just amazing. Just nothing like any metro you've ever seen in your life. Not used to the cold, dark tunnels and stuff like that in the snowy areas. This area is, I'm not going to say anything, but just, my God, absolutely amazing. Okay, we're in the top here now. And there's going to be a couple of things up here, including, but not limited to, there is a safe. And I'm doing a guide on all the safes as well, just to reiterate on my old ones from the first game. And there it is right there. The night vision goggles upgrade i want to see what the name is now and now it's called nvd i'm just not quite sure what it stands for so under electrical equipment the nvd amplifier okay there's the explanation right there okay this is an interesting spot because you've got your um consumables carrier upgrade for your vest but also there's an individual standing by the umbrella down there and i'm not going to tell you who it is keep it spoiler free but uh, go and have a chat with him it's actually quite funny uh, what is actually going on in this area but i'll leave that up to you and there is your vest upgrade or your arm upgrade right there i think i'll turn around now and have a look at it <clears throat> yeah let's have a look and see what it is consumables carrier now strangely enough this is put before the one that you got on the previous level so just depending on what kind of area you're going to um will depend on what kind of vest you take and hopefully this will be more prudent in the more difficult levels which i'm very excited to get to okay this one's going to be in the middle of nowhere it's going to be up on the northwest corner this is going towards the end goal or the second last end goal there's the lighthouse right there as a reference point and there's going to be a boat right here inside said boat we are going to grab the extra bright flashlight upgrade now I've actually swapped back to my duller light because this is too bright. You can't read documents, you can't do anything, it's quite weird. It's going to be useful for the forest, if there is a forest. But um, later on in the game that's definitely going to come in handy. Okay, now we just a bit more to the west of the current position, or the last position. And this is going to be part of the uh, Dimov uh, mission. And he's going to take you through these caves trying to find the oasis. But you will get here definitely. And this is also part of the collectibles guide. So I do collect the note right here. But then, with power of editing, just pop over and grab the armored glass. Now this is what you want, baby. This is your armored glass mask. Making it much more difficult for them to crack. Alright guys, that's going to be it for now. There's going to be tons more guides on the way. Uh, smash that like button if you're enjoying the content. As well as any comments you have, any questions, please ask. I'm always going to answer. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.